Hello everyone and welcome to Azure DevOps tutorial. In this tutorial we are learning about Azure DevOps and for that we have completed Azure repo and Azure ports. Today we will start a new module which is pipelines. So in this video we will learn what exactly is the pipeline in Azure DevOps. Let's start. Let's have a look on the agenda of this video. In this video we will learn what is pipeline in Azure DevOps what process are available in Azure DevOps pipeline, what type of applications and programming language can be used in pipeline, where can I store my project code to use pipeline. For example, if I want to use pipeline, where should be my code, what is that place so that I can use my pipeline in Azure DevOps. Where can I deploy my project code? Is pipeline free to use or do I need to pay some fees? What is CI and CD? When CI and CD will be triggered? So we will be learning lots of points in this video. First we will understand what is pipeline in Azure DevOps. Pipeline in DevOps, I am talking about the general definition. Pipeline in DevOps is a set of process which is used to make available your project to users and these set of process can be triggered automatically or can be triggered manually. So from this definition it is clear that the main use of pipeline is to send your code from one place to some other place so that it will be available to all the users. And how your code can be available to all the users there is only one possibility. If you deploy your code to a particular server then only your code will be available to all the users. So in the simple term, fetching your code from a particular place and deploying your code on a particular server so that all the people can access to that particular website or application and all the steps which are used to perform this type of task that is called as pipeline. In another definition, Azure Pipelines is a cloud service because it works on the cloud Azure Pipelines is a cloud service that you can use to automatically build and test your code project and make it available to other users. Azure Pipeline is used to build your code automatically. If there is any problem then you will get a notification that at this particular line or at this particular file there is a problem so that you can resolve it before publishing that particular code to a server. Pipeline is also used for the automatically build processor and test your code project. What is the meaning of test? Unit testing. Azure Pipelines is also used for the unit testing as well and make it available to other users. It means publishing your code to a particular server. What process are available in the pipeline? So I was talking about the set of process which are used to send your code from a particular place to the server. So let's understand what process are available in the pipeline. Pipeline in Azure DevOps is designed as per project need. Every project has a different structure and different need. As per the need of the project, we can design our pipeline. We can increase or decrease number of steps while designing the pipeline. Basically, it is a set of some process, some task and as per the need, we can decrease or increase the number of tasks for the deployment and other purpose. Let's have a look on the very basic example which has few steps which are used in the pipeline. Suppose I have this repository on a particular server. First step is getting the code from that particular repository and building that code. So that if we have any problem, if we have any build error, then we can get the notification that there is some problem in the code. Once the build processor is complete, then we will run the unit test. If all the unit tests are working fine, then we will deploy the code from repository to a particular server. So basically these are number of steps. First step is getting the code from repository. Second step is building the code. Third is unit testing. Fourth is deploying. For example, in your scenario, if you do not need the testing, then we can decrease this step. The steps will be get the code from repository, build the project 
and deploy it. In other situations, there might be some extra steps which might be used in the pipeline. So basically, it all depends on the need of your project. Now, let's understand what type of applications and programming language can I use in the Azure DevOps. For example, if someone is working on a .NET code or some other person is working on a PHP code or Java code or Angular code, can I still use Azure pipeline for the deployment and building the code? Azure DevOps works with any programming language and any platform. You do not have to worry about the programming language or framework which you are working on. For example, we can use .NET, we can use .NET Core, Python, C Sharp, Java, JavaScript, Angular, PHP, Ruby, C++, etc. It means in Azure pipeline, we can use any framework or any programming language. So if you are working on PHP, do not worry. You can simply use Azure DevOps for the building and deployment of your website. Source code. Now, where should be my repository? Your project source code must be in a version control system. This is the main requirement. Your code should be in a particular version control system. Azure Pipeline integrates with GitHub, GitHub Enterprise, Azure Repo, Git and TFVC, Bitbucket Cloud and Subversion. In future, there are possibilities that the number of the repositories can be increased or decreased. But right now, at the time of recording of this video, these repositories are supported by the Azure DevOps. So if your code is available in any of the written repositories, then you can use Azure Pipelines to build and deploy your code. Deployment target. What is the meaning of deployment target? It means the location of the server where I will be deploying my code. Azure DevOps can be used to deploy your code on multiple targets. You can use containers, you can use virtual machines or VMs, you can use Azure service. If you have an account on Azure, then you can directly deploy your code on the Azure service. Any other cloud target which is available in the market, any on premises. If you have your own setup of servers, then you can still use Azure pipelines and you can deploy your code on your own server as well. So it means Azure pipeline provide a complete package which is used to fetch the code from any of the repositories which are available in the market and deploy the code on any of the server which are available. Pipeline pricing. Now let's understand that if I use the pipeline, whether it is free or do I need to pay some money. For public repo, pipeline is always free. And for the private repository, pipeline is free for 30 hours in every month. If you will use more than 30 hours in a month, then you have to pay some amount to Azure DevOps for the private repository. But if your repository is public, it means you are working on some open source project, then it will always be free. What is CI and CD in pipelines? If you have some knowledge about the DevOps or you have heard this word about the DevOps from somewhere, then you must have heard about CI and CD in the pipelines. So now let's understand what exactly is the CI and CD. CI means continuous integration. CI is used to automate, test and build the project. It is used to find bugs or other build issue in early phase. As we have already discussed that the pipeline is a set of some process and CI and CD these are two main important process in the pipelines. CI means continuous integration. So what will happen in this step? In this step the Azure DevOps pipeline will fetch code from a particular repository and it will build the code. Building the code and running the automate test. These steps are covered in CI that is continuous integration. Second is CD that means continuous delivery. Delivery means publishing your code to a particular server. CD is used to automatically deploy and test code in multiple stages. If you are working on a particular project then you have multiple stages or environments. You have developer environment, 
you have QA environment, then we have staging environment, and finally we have production environment. So continuous delivery is used to deploy your code one by one with or without some permissions as per the settings that you will define in the pipelines to different targets. So it means CI will be used to build and test your code and CD will be used to deploy your code. When CI and CD will be triggered manually, we can trigger CI and CD manually anytime. So anytime you can run the CI CD pipeline to build and test your code. We can also trigger these mechanisms automatically when on each commit. So the meaning of CI was to build the code automatically. So suppose I'm working on a particular project and I'm pushing the code in a repository. So suppose I made a commit and I have pushed the code in the repository. When you will push your code automatically CI will run. It will fetch the code from the repository. It will build the code. If everything is fine, then you will get the notification that everything is successful. If there is some problem in building the code, then immediately you will get the notification and you can fix that problem. Second is on a fixed interval. We can also automate the CI and CD on a particular interval. Suppose you want to run your CI and CD at a particular time in a day. Suppose you want to run your CI CD at 4 o'clock every day or at two times in a day, three times in a day at a particular interval. You can also make these type of settings in the Azure DevOps. Third is at a particular time. Suppose you want to run your build today at 7 o'clock. You can also define that setting in the Azure DevOps. There is no need to worry. You can make it manually. You can run it automatically. Everything is defined as per your requirement. You can make settings as per the convenience and need of your project. If you want to test your code on each commit, then you can set the automatic version of the CI and CD. On each commit, the code will be built. It will be deployed on the server. In the next video, we will learn how can we create a continuous integration pipeline in Azure DevOps. This is all in this part. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.